and I'm like, and I was telling you like, tequila uh, hits me pretty hard. So when I when there's a smooth tequila, I'm definitely all for it. What's going on, man? It's Tubbs Kruger, man. We are here, 116th at La Chula in Harlem. This is the good guy right here. <laughs> runs this spot, owner. Chef Julian, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? All I'm, good? What's happening? I'm very good because, honestly, I've been here for a couple hours. I've been eating very well. <laughs> I know I, I'm definitely going to have to do a couple crunches when I leave here. <laughs> I've tried the, uh, the tongue, the chicken, the beef, pork. Amazing. So tell me, yes. tell me about the uh, the menu here. So what's the best thing that I should eat? So we have like things that you ate, like uh, the tongue taco, the, okay. the pork pastor taco. But also we have like shrimp taco that is just great. Very it's good, just yeah, with yeah, this yeah. Uh, uh, homemade uh, oh, tortilla yeah, sauce. with melted cheese and then with uh, saute shrimp. We put a little bit of cabbage and then some chipotle creme and pico de gallo on top. It's just like it melts in your mouth. Mm. So good. Um, but we have also like chicken and um, we have crazy things like the tongue or the pork here. Um, we also have some tortas, which is the Mexican sandwiches and yeah, style or burritos. We serve also this uh, like 50 kinds of different tequilas and mezcales. Mezcales, you know that is just like um, it's always goes well with uh, with tacos and Mexican food. Obviously, some margaritas. We have like five, six different kind of margaritas on the menu. Um, everything is fresh. Everything is prepared to order. Um, so we're trying to be the real deal and the authentic part of uh, Mexico. That it comes. I, I come from Earth, so it comes you from my heart. So authentic and real deal as it can be. Yeah, thank you. Because those tacos were amazing. And I and as I can see, yeah. I can definitely come here and yeah. have a nice good time. There's a lot of mezcal here. Yeah. And lots of tequila. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And you know you know this place is good when they got they got that Julio yeah. and that Avion. Yeah. But the mezcal is where it's at. We never had the mezcal. Listen. Yeah. Step your game up. Twenty years ago, I said I want to open a place here because I've been coming to this neighborhood since um, since I moved basically to New York from okay. Mexico City. From Mexico City. So twenty years ago, twenty-five years ago is wherever you can find uh, the real traditional Mexican food because a lot of the Hispanics and Mexicans moved to this neighborhood. So that's what I used to come here and, and a restaurant that you know I was a chef back in the day. Um, I used to come and actually buy Mexican products from here. So I said one day I want to open my own place in Harlem because it's really dear to my heart. Now being, being from Mexico, being able to uh, develop the traditional meals and still be able to you know, sell it to your consumer, was that a tough thing? or? It's, it's funny because uh, me being as a Mexican, when I moved here to New York, I never thought that I would work for a Mexican restaurant. Back in Mexico City, I used to be a, sh uh, well, a cook and a chef and stuff, but um, my background of cooking is French. Really? So I actually started cooking Mexican since I moved here to New York. What? Um, so so um, French cuisine is the number one. Well, it, it was it back was. in the day. Now it's just uh, a lot of different crazy, you know, uh, cuisines that they're there. That's, that's, that's Mexican has is, is been like uh, on top of it like uh, many years back, but uh, you know, Chinese is still strong, Italian. French and uh, actually uh, in Europe, a lot of uh, in Denmark, they just like, you know, doing this Storming. crazy stuff. I, I actually just went to a trip there, so it was just amazing. Amazing out Yeah. There. Well, here in Harlem, it's just a mix of cultures too, yeah. and uh, Mexican food is just a street food. Yeah, that's what I do here, um, which is kind of authentic, the tacos and stuff. I want it to be as authentic as possible. Like you had the tongue tacos and the pastor, the rotisserie, uh, pork marinating chilies. Let me say that was my first time ever eating tongue. Yeah. And it tastes <laughs> like chicken. But it's good. It's always fun to try something new, something different. And that's what we have too. We have here, pork here, tacos here. We have some special sometimes grasshoppers. Yeah. Uh, like crazy things like that. I, I like to bring, salad. yeah, it's not bad. It's organic. It's just like, a, it's protein, protein and it's yeah. some sort of a, would you say, like vegetarian kind of thing. I mean, it's just like, a, you know, grasshopper is basically, they eat grass all the time. Do, so. you, do, you, do you eat a grasshopper and then take a shot? Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. Oh. Actually, do you want to have a shot? I'm all with yeah? it, man. I'm, I'm a guest of you, man. All right, cool. Um, so we're going to have a, 
uh, my tequila, Your actually. Tequila. Yes, yes. So this is yours. This is mine. Um, so this is this is actually made for me. Nice. That so you can see here that it says Chef Julian Medina. Wow. I actually, um, I got a bottle. It wasn't this. I think it was that. I got that bottle for as a Christmas gift. Oh. But now I have well, to make sure I only get this. Well, this one you can get only on my restaurants, not, not, not in any else. other store. Oh, so the they basically make this uh, barrel for me, um, but they send me, send me samples and stuff, so we try it, wow. we taste it. I said, okay, this one is the one that I like. And actually, we have the barrel up here. Um, how, do you, how do you get connected with a brand like this? this is it's, like it's just, uh, they're, they're good friends of mine and we do business with them, so. Um, they, just, they just like me and uh, you know they're good to me. So That's cool. we just uh, we just came up with the, with this concept and it's just it's just uh, it's just funny and delicious because every barrel is different. So every time that a barrel is gone, then they send me another barrel which is different, and you know customers I love need to it. Be like you when I grow up. <laughs> I need somebody to send me barrels. Of um, you want it to neat or you want a little eyes? Well, how do you like it? Neat. All right, cool. There you go. So, salud. Salud. La chula. Okay, I didn't, we didn't supposed to shoot it, but it tastes good to me. <laughs> Chef Julian trying to get me drunk in here. <laughs> that was very smooth, actually. It is really smooth, right? To be a right? tequila? Um, I'm about to get it. And this is only in your restaurants? Yeah, this is only in my restaurants. Uh, basically, what they do is like uh, they age it in um, French barriques okay. that they're toasted already in cognac. Oh. And um, they do that for like uh, 11 months. Then at 11 months, they transfer it to a, a new barrel for one more month. So that's what is called double barrel reposado Ooh. because it's, they put it in two barrels and then they just put them in bottles. As you can see, they have the, bar the barrel number, the bottle number, the serial number. This is literally signed by someone. This yeah. is not a stamp. Uh, no, no. They, wow. uh, there is a, it's called a maestro mezcalero, which is like the one who supervises all the tequila there. So it's signed and proved by them. And then they just, you know, they put the the, the, the tag to to yeah. You are a very certify. cool dude, man. <laughs> to have this, man. I don't know many people that have yeah their own uh, liquor in their yeah. own establishment. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do. And uh, what better to have a taco with uh, pairing with a nice tequila? Usually wine with food, but <laughs> right. I'm coming here to just drink this <laughs> and tacos. This is the new, yeah, this is the new thing. So uh, you're more than welcome here to come anytime to come to restaurants. So. Oh, I'm definitely coming here, definitely. man. Definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm usually in Harlem in the summertime a lot. And if anyone knows me, and if you watch this there and you continue go. to watch this, I eat a lot of tacos. So if you see me in La Chula, just know I'm talking to Chef Julian and I'm drinking that <laughs> the whole time. There you go.